You're gonna hear a story about how a bucket of gum saved a baseball season. This is how the story was told to me, and we've anonymized all the names of those involved, but the events depicted are true. Ish. It's 2019, and a minor league team in AA is nearing the end of the season. In the beginning of the year, they were picked to finish last in the league by the experts. Good evening, and welcome to Channel 69 News. I'm your host, Dick Skylark. And I'm Eric Slim. Heading into the season, early predictions say that the Trash Pandas are gonna live up to their name, meaning they will be trash. I thought you were gonna say pandas. No, trash pandas. Oh. Damn, you didn't have to be so hard, Dick. Well, Eric, the truth hurts, especially when it's hard. I love me some hard news, Dick, but do they have a chance to get into the playoffs? Well, that'll all depend on their top pitching prospect, Ryan. If he lives up to expectations, they might have a shot at winning at least one game this year. Damn, Dick, why do you have to be so hard on them all the time? Life is hard. So am I. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But to everyone's surprise, the team's actually playing well above expectations. Largely carried by clutch hitting and great pitching by Ryan, who is the best pitcher in the league with an ERA of .69. Nice. Yes. Nice. 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 But with one game left in the season, the Trash Pandas were tied for first place with a chance at making the playoffs. If they win, they're in. If they lose, their Cinderella season is over. And guess who's on the mound? Ryan. Ryan. Oh, we're in. We're in. Yeah. So so it's a few hours before first pitch, and the coach comes into the locker room. Brian. Hey, coach, how's it going? Big game today, how are you feeling? Feeling good, feeling good. I'm locked in, no matter what, we're not losing today. Well, your best chance we got. Is there anything else you need from us before you start? Uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna get loose in about an hour or so, but uh, the only thing I need is my bucket of gum before first pitch. Think you do that for me? Don't worry about the bubble gum. We know that's your thing. I got the club you're working on it right now. So you'll have a new bucket before first pitch. Perfect, thank you, coach, I appreciate you got it. it. Thank you. And I know what you're thinking, why gum? Yeah. All baseball players have their own superstitions, like Derek Jeter using a gold thong to break out of a slump, or even something as simple as not stepping on the foul line. <laughs> In this case, Ryan was no different. So before each game, Ryan would have an entire bucket of double bubble gum waiting for him in the dugout, where he would grab his favorite flavor, start chewing it, and take it to the mound with him. If he performed well, he'd keep that one stick of gum throughout the entire start. Mm. And I mean, he would keep it through everything. All right, we got two down, two down. Oh, dude. Did he just drop his gum? I think he did. Uh, Don't tell me he's gonna eat that. I think this looks okay still. I think he is. Fuck it. Yeah. Oh my. Uh, 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 <laughs> no. But if he had a bad inning, he'd come back to the dugout and pick out a new flavor for the new inning. Yeah, it's the gum's fault. It's, that. it's the gum's fault, right? So he's probably not using four out. <laughs> exactly. But as crazy as that sounds, it's been working all season. So fast forward to the first inning. Ryan's on the mound warming up. He's got his great gum. He's feeling good. And he's ready to get this game started. <sighs> all righty, baby. Let's do this. Let's go, Ryan. Struck this bitch out. What the hell? Hey guys, I think it's gonna rain. Yep. Looks like a storm's coming our way, boys. Gotta make this quick today. Oh shit, Ryan, you. Oh! I'm getting warmed up. Back up, catch. <laughs> so he shrugs his shoulders, gets back on the mound. Umpire says, play ball, and the game finally starts. And despite the rain, he strikes out the side. Are you kidding me? Bye -bye. Are you kidding me? Good shit, Ryan. Hey, listen, man. Rain or shine, we're not losing today. We better not be. Mr. Ryan, Mr. Ryan, is it time for a new piece of gum, sir? You know what? There's still six more strikeouts left in this. We're all right. But there's watermelon and grape and original. <laughs> <laughs> so fast forward into the second inning. It's been about 20 minutes since Ryan's been on the mound, and now it's actually starting to rain. Uh oh. You think it's gonna get worse? Hopefully not, but dude, like I said, we're not losing this game, no matter what today. Hey, guys, I think it's raining. Thanks, Kev. It's raining. <laughs> so despite it raining, the conditions are still playable. So Ryan gets back on the mound. He gets two quick outs with a pop-up to the first baseman and a ground out to the shortstop. But the next guy steps in, and it's the team's hottest hitter coming up to the plate. Hey, this guy sucks, but just in case, give him some room. All right, dude, what do you got for me? F*** you, fastball here. All right, let's do it. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Gone forever. I got it, 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 I got it. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Did he just catch that? Show me the ball. Show me the ball. I want to see the ball. Give me the ball. Show me the ball. He's out. 
<laughs> wow, what a fuck play, dude. You lucky son of a bitch. Mr. Ryan, Mr. Ryan, can you... Do you think it's time for a new piece of gum? That was a sick play. I think we're okay. We're gonna stick to this one. Okay. <laughs> Why? Coming back is what it is! <laughs> so fast forward into the third inning, score still 0-0. Ryan Seam is looking lost at the plate. The striking out left and right, they've got zero hits so far, and it's not looking very good. So he makes his way back up to the bound, and this time around, it's f***ing pouring. Dude, this is bad. Do you think the game's gonna get canceled? Hopefully not, man. We need at least five innings for this game to count, dude. True. Just don't give up any runs here, and we should be fine. I already told you, dude. We're not fucking losing today. Hey, guys. I think it's pouring. Yeah, no sh dude. Shut the fuck up. I think it's raining, man. Hallelujah, it's raining, man. <laughs> <laughs> but despite all that, they continue the game as mud starting to form, the bases are all wet, and the players are now all soaked. But early on in the inning, it's very, very clear that Ryan has lost it. Nasty. Double bubble. Yips. I don't have money, buddy! Floppy titties. Oh, no. shit. <laughs> Ball four, take your base. Fuck go, Ryan! Figure it the fuck out! Dude, I'm trying, it's wet out here! Uh oh. So the next hitter steps in the box, and the opposing team is looking to play a little bit of small ball. So Ryan comes set, gets ready to go in the windup, and guess what the hitter does? It's a tank. <laughs> <laughs> no, he bunts the ball. Oh, oh, let's yeah, small bunt yeah. the ball. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Oh, okay, my bad. Bunt! Right. <laughs> oh, fucking shit. I got it, I got it, I got it. One on one! Oh, shit. That's not good. Let's small bunt the ball. So, next thing you know, head coach calls time and heads to the mound for a visit. Sorry, guys. Ball just slipped. You know, it's fine. Usually I'd be pretty pissed off, but anyone that wears 10,000, it's fine with me. 10,000? Yeah, the world's best men's training gear. Can you lift big in them? Yeah, you can do pretty much just anything in them. Lift big, lift small, bump the ball, and hit tanks. What about getting out of tough situations like this? Look, they're built to withstand anything. And they're literally my favorite shorts. Coach, can we hurry this up? I don't get paid by the hour, let's go. Hold the fuck on. We're in the middle of an ad read for 10,000. Show some goddamn respect. Wait, you mean the best men's fitting training gear? All backed by a lifetime guarantee? Yeah, that gear! Oh, I wish I had a pair of their shorts to umpire in. Well, sucks to suck! Excuse me? Actually, what he meant to say is that if you're looking to upgrade your training gear, go to 10,000.cc and use code MOMENTUM for 15% off your entire order. 15% off my entire order? Yep, that's 10,000.cc and use our promo code MOMENTUM to get 15% off your entire order. Sweet, I'm using the code right now. But can we hurry this up? Shut your fucking mouth! We're almost fucking finished! You know what? If you didn't look so damn good in those shorts, you'd be gone right now. All right. As you were saying, coach? As I was saying, the storm's on its way. We gotta move quick. So go ahead and walk this guy. And they got bases loaded. Forces it out the axe. Okay. Okay? Got it. Sounds good. <laughs> so the coach heads back to the dugout. Him and the umpire both motherfucking each other on the way there. Ryan gets on the mound while the infield's playing in. Throws the pitch and smack. Perfect ground ball hit to the second baseman. Gets set the throw, and just like Ryan, yips it to the catcher. Oh no. Everybody's safe. It's now one nothing. Base is loaded still. God damn it, throw the damn ball! Dude, my bad, it's this rain. <laughs> <laughs> so next batter steps in the box. Fans are all on the edge of their seat. <sighs> we got this, don't be a bitch. Come on, Ryan. This guy can't touch your heater. Let's fuck go. Yep. Dude, I think he's throwing a fastball. You know what to do. Fastball! <laughs> that ball sh on. Yep, I don't think I'm going after that one. God damn it! <laughs> Did Ryan just throw his gum? Sure looks like it. Oh. He should have <laughs> bunted. So now, the score's 5 nothing. The game has gone to sh and their entire season's now in jeopardy. Yeah. Pretty tough scene to be in. Yeah. But a few batters later, he collects three outs at the end of the inning, heads back to the dugout, and sure enough, there's the club he waiting for him. Mr. Ryan, Mr. Ryan. Man, that was a tough inning. I know. But, uh, may I suggest watermelon? Yeah, let's, uh, let's go watermelon. Shit. Give him the whole bucket after that inning. Our season's f***ing over. I've got a plan, don't worry about it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so fast forward into the fourth inning. 
Things are still going horribly wrong for the Trash Pandas at this point. So Ryan comes out of the dugout getting ready to pitch, but the umpires are all huddled at home plate and ultimately decide that the weather conditions are too rough to play in, so they officially call for a rain delay. Next thing you know, the ground crew starts pulling out the tarps on the field, the fans start making their way up to the seats to find some protection from the rain, and most importantly, all the players grab their gear, head back to the clubhouse, not knowing how long the rain delay will be. That is, everyone except Ryan, who sits alone in the dugout, staring out into the field and chewing gum. Pitchers are weird, man. <laughs> <laughs> so about 15 minutes go by, some guys are playing cards, others are getting work in the cage, others are playing NCAA Baseball 2006, but then the coach walks in to give them an update. Hey fellas, just got word, storm's gonna last at least a couple hours, but for now, game's still on. So stay ready, stay loose, be ready to play. Any questions? Do you think we're gonna get a full game in? Unfortunately, with these conditions, they're thinking only five innings for this game. Man, that's tough. Guys, who's gonna tell Ryan? What do you mean? Is he not here? I think that Jabroni's still on the bench, coach. Jesus, someone go check on him. <laughs> <laughs> so they send out the catcher to go check on him, and sure enough, there's Ryan still chewing gum. Dude, what the f are you doing? Hey, listen, man. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. What do you mean? You're not fine. I got a plan. Don't worry about it. I'm good. Whatever, man. So he, he's expecting to go back in after a rain delay? Yes. Ooh. Ooh. So the catcher heads back to the clubhouse, more confused than ever. Another 15 minutes go by, and the team is still wondering, Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> so the club goes into the dugout. There's Ryan. Same spot as before. But this time around, he has about 10 pieces of gum that's in his mouth. Ryan, you okay? The uh, team's kind of worried about you. I'm good, man. I'm just focusing. Focusing on what? Right now, I'm about 10 pieces in, but I'm just focusing on chewing this gum right now. Oh, okay. Tell you, pictures are weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the club he heads back to the clubhouse, goes up to the manager to tell him what he saw, and the manager can't even believe it because they've never seen Ryan chew every flavor before. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. But fast forward about another 20 minutes, and Ryan finally walks in the locker room. He's got this giant smile on his face. He's no longer chewing gum. He walks by the whole team, doesn't say a single word. But everyone can't help but notice that he's absolutely soaked from the knees down. And the entire team is like, what the f is going on? I don't know. I think it's raining outside. Come on, go check then. Let's go. <laughs> so the two of them make their way to the dugout. They turn the corner and guess what? The entire dugout is fucking flooded. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did Ryan do? As it would turn out, the entire time Ryan was sitting in the dugout chewing gum, it wasn't because of his superstition, but was actually trying to chew as many pieces of gum as possible so they could then use it as a plug to shove into the drain and purposely flood the entire dugout, hoping the game would get canceled. It's brilliant. That's, that's a lot of gum. Yeah. <laughs> so the catcher and the second baseman come running back into the clubhouse. The team turns on the TV, and of course, the first thing that they see is a live video of their dugout on the news. Welcome back to Channel 69 News. Trouble in baseball paradise? Apparently there's a flood at our Trash Pandas game. Sources say the reason is unknown. Luckily, we have Channel 69 weatherman Eric Sim on site. What do you got for us, Eric? This sh flooded! Thank you, Eric. F you, dick! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so next thing you know, head coach comes in. All right, everyone. Due to recent events and our dugout being flooded, the game's been officially canceled. Yes! Does that mean we get a fresh start, coach? Yep. This game's a wash. We're gonna replay it in two days. Let's, Let's go! King, go! I know you did it. I just knew we weren't gonna lose today. It was still you. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> <Yeah>. Captain Obvious. <laughs> so, a couple days go by, and the team goes out to play the final game of the season, but because Ryan had started a few days ago, he wasn't able to pitch. So in honor of Ryan saving the entire season, the entire team decides to chew one piece of gum for good luck, hoping that they get the win. Woo. Mm. And guess what? They pulled that off with a clutch win, securing first place, saving their season, all thanks to a bucket of gum. <laughs> That's brilliant. That a boy, Ryan. Jeez. Nice work. However, as they're celebrating in the locker room after the game, the head coach comes in. All right, you sons of b****. As exciting as this moment is, something serious just came to our attention. Oh no. What happened, coach? Well, after further investigation, we found this at the top of our drain last night. Oof, wasn't me. Well, in order to save our asses, management wants someone to pin this on. 
So they can either be fined or they can be let go from the team. Oh no. So as everyone looks around, wondering if anyone's gonna rat, Ryan decides that he's gonna come clean. Wait, coach. It was B. Uh, are you serious? No, it was Ryan. <laughs> <laughs>